Hi, I'm Dempsey Pilot, and this week I'm reviewing <laughs> Unfriended Dark Web was directed by Steven Susco and stars a lot of unknowns and Betty Gabriel. Love Betty Gabriel. Now for those of you guys who don't know who Betty Gabriel is, well, this might jog your memory. Oh no. 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 No, 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 no. Now, it's a standalone sequel, hence why I put it in quotes. And it literally has nothing to do with its predecessor. In fact, the only thing that it has in common with its predecessor is the unique way in which the story is told. In real time, on a laptop desktop. The film follows an online game night amongst friends that goes terribly wrong after one of the friends playing discovers that his new laptop actually contains a lot of mysteriously hidden content on it. Now, I thought the original film was great. In fact, I, I really thought it was probably one of the most original films of the past decade. That's just in my opinion. But uh, yeah, I really like the fact that the original film uh, was a horror film for the social media and digital age. And I really like the new fresh perspective uh, that it was told from and the unique way in which the film was made. So I was very excited for this one. I was really interested to see what direction the franchise would take. However, I was very disappointed. One of the major problems that I had with this film was that it felt way too real. In the worst way possible. And I'm not even talking about any of the horror sequences because, to be honest, there weren't even that many. I'm talking about the way in which the story unfolds. Now, this film is told in real time, just like the previous one, as I said before, but you really do feel it being told in real time. Uh, the last one, it kind of flew by, things happen, and whenever the characters aren't talking, um, things about the plot are, are unfolding before your very eyes, right? In this film, it's quite the opposite, in fact. Literally, for the first half of the movie, it feels like you're just watching people talking. In fact, you are watching people talking. Literally, you're watching people have straight-up conversations. And none of what they're saying is interesting at all. In fact, um, it's all very boring, and it really did take me out of the film. I felt very disengaged by, like, the half-hour mark, because nothing was really happening. Like so many other horror films, the characters in this one are one-dimensional, which is why watching them talk and trying to convince us that they actually have personalities doesn't really work. At the end of this, they really have nothing to really contribute, nothing really smart to say, nothing worth listening to, and that's what makes watching the whole first act of this film so painful. By the time things started to pick up and people started to get picked off or killed off or whatever, I honestly started to lose interest. And at the rate that people were getting picked off or whatever, um, it really seemed too fast in contrast to the pace that was established in the first half of the film. I mean, people start to disappear like one after another after another. Things happen so quickly that it really kind of ruins the whole real-time aspect. At least it ruined the whole real-time aspect of the film for me. Now, I don't want to spoil anything, as always. However, this film just was not fun for me. In fact, it wasn't even scary. You know, you go into horror films to be scared occasionally, to just be on the edge of your seat, and I can't say that I genuinely felt that for this film. In fact, I don't even know if this film should be classified as a horror film. By the end of the film, I honestly felt like it was just a PSA for just how dangerous the internet can be. In a world where things are becoming increasingly dependent on technology, this film should resonate with a whole lot of people. However, it won't because it's just forgettable and it's very stupid. Now, the whole dark web thing could have been done a whole lot better in my opinion. In fact, it probably will be done a whole lot better at some point, but until then, we're stuck with this heap of garbage. And for that, I'm gonna give the film two stars. Whack. I still think that's too high of a rating, but as I said before, this film has Betty Gabriel. So we'll just leave it as is. I feel like the producers just used the unfriended name to sell this one, and I'm not gonna lie, it worked. It worked on me. I, I wasn't sure how this film was gonna relate to the first one, and I didn't even know that it didn't relate to the first one until I had already paid for the ticket and was sitting in the theater. So kudos to you guys. You guys got me. I, I, I will say that. 
However, for those of you guys who haven't seen this movie yet, I will say that it's not worth it. You can probably wait for it to come out on DVD or on cable or something. Honestly, it's really not worth it. And that's, that's all I gotta say on that. Guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, I would ask that you please subscribe. I post new videos weekly. And yes, I did not forget about that TV show season review. I know I've been talking about it for almost two months now. But I promise it's going to be well worth the wait. Okay? So just sit back and you'll know when it's coming as soon as I know when it's coming. Um, which is soon, as I said before. Now, there are a lot of other projects that I'm working on for the channel. Some of them are a little bit further down the line, but some of them are actually coming sooner than you think. Um, in fact, uh, for those of you guys who don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram, which by the way, if you're not, I'll post the links down below in the description. Uh, but for those of you guys who aren't following me, you may have noticed that I got a tan, and that's because I actually went down to Florida, to Walt Disney World with my family. Holler! Um, no, but in all seriousness, though, I, I did go down to Florida, and I actually filmed a vlog while I was down there. Um, and I hope to be posting it. Um, it's going to be a multi-part uh, kind of episodic kind of thing. So you can look forward to seeing that. I'm going to post it sometime next couple of days or uh, by next week or so. Um, it's just uh, like the TV show season review. You know, I have so many things to juggle. It's taking a little bit more time than I expected. But uh, you can definitely check it out very soon, very soon. That I know for sure. Um, also, I have uh, some other projects that I'm working on, uh, but like I said, some of those are further down the line, and I'll update you guys as soon as I can update you guys about them, because you know, some of them are just really top secret. But yeah, thanks again so much, guys, for taking the time out of your day to view these videos. It really does mean the world to me, and I love making them, which is why I'm working harder to try and make more, so I can share more of myself with you all. Um, but I really do appreciate all the love and support thus far. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I'm just going to continue getting back to work. So until next time, I'm Dempsey Pollock. Take care.